Howdy tubers, welcome back to the Zach Life. This is episode 8, I believe. <laughs> I don't actually remember. I think this is episode 8. This is part 2 uh, painting and skinning of the coach. This is probably a pretty short video, not much information, but I felt like I kind of needed an update. The skin is hanging on this whole side of the RV. I've got all the screws that are going in the back panels and, and I've got to put the screws in these front three. Okay, so these, these panels, the sheets I bought are 48 inches wide. The studs or ribs or whatever you want to call it, the, the vertical braces, are an inch and a half wide and they're on a 15 and two thirds inch center. And what that does is when you go you know you take three studs that puts the center to center of the stud at 47 inches so these panels can overlap by one inch okay so when I hang these I'll, I'll scoot the edge like pretend this one isn't here the one behind here will be set in by one quarter of an inch off the face of this piece of tubing so you've got this piece of pipe and the in the the panel will come a quarter inch from being off the end here then on the other side it'll be the same I'll come in one half inch from the edge of the next panel to where we'll put the uh, put the screw and that will put the screw directly in the center of the inch and a half tubing so let's do the next one all right so here's my my doohickey, you saw me build in the previous video. <clears throat> so it just hangs up here. And then I'll take a tape measure and measure from the end of the panel. Forty-seven and three-eighths to the center of the holes. Take a clamp and clamp it so that it can't move. Then do the same thing at the bottom. Okay, now that I got that where I want it, I don't know if you can see what's going on here, but just take one of these little spring loaded center punches. Window. We'll go ahead and put the top two screws in. And of course it's going down the line. And then I'll move it down and do the next two. All right, wardrobe change. <laughs> this is Friday morning. I'm fixing to finish these screws and put the front, I don't know if I said or if you noticed, but the front corner piece that I put on last week I took off because the front panel goes behind it. It had been difficult to get it in there without scratching everything up. Anyway, gonna finish putting screws in. I'm gonna put the front corner piece back on, pop a few screws back in it, and then finish screwing it. Uh, and then I'm going to take a, I'll show you in a minute, but I'm going to cut the fender wells and a few of these storage compartments out. Anyway, this is Friday morning. I'm going to try to get this knocked out and go edit the video when I get the video up tonight or tomorrow. And the camera's hungry. i gotta got to feed it.
all right I think you can get an idea here how everything's gonna lay out so you can see down I've got an area here with no screws it's gonna have the truck graphics are gonna run down run down here then they turn and go up at an angle there's a few screws here I'll have to pull out of course that won't be any problem it goes up at an angle and then they come back together in, in a small uh, the, the, the pattern gets small the color lines are small and they run back and once there's two screws missing they all run back along there now the top of the truck cab will be roughly right about here and so you'll be able to see this line and go around the front and along the other side and you'll be able to see that pattern over the top of the cab of the truck the top of the RV is going to be just about the same height as the exhaust stacks obviously there's a window here window there a window in the back so I'm not going to cut the window holes out the reason being is that the the window is a two-piece deal I don't know if I've explained it before it's a typical RV window where it's two halves and when you screw it together it sandwiches the wall inside and out together and that's how it attaches it doesn't actually screw to the coach frame it just sort of vice grips its way just squishes its way uh, you know sandwiches the wall that's what holds it from moving now the problem with that is is you've got to have the interior finished it's got to be you know the interior walls have got to be uh, the first step will be uh, the insulation the plywood painted I think it's I think I'm going to put some kind of textured wallpaper in it but that's I haven't decided for sure that's got to be finished before you can put that trim ring on the inside of the, of the window the part that sandwiches it and I want this outside out of my shop as soon as I can get it out of there because I'm sick of it being in here and if I cut a hole in there it's gonna rain on the inside so anyway I'm gonna more or less finish the coach uh, you know interior painted and everything before I actually cut the window holes in it the next thing I'm gonna do so I've got this is the coolest toy ever if you're doing something like this it's a little it's a little Milwaukee shear it was you know it's a name brand tool but it, it was reasonably inexpensive I forgot what it cost a couple hundred bucks but uh, you can just make you know it's like electric tin snips anyway I'm gonna cut the fender wells out because I don't remember exactly where they're at you know, they're right down there somewhere and I need to get those cut out so that I can feel behind there to get the screws ran in for them so I'm just gonna take off and just follow my my hoops that I built and uh, hack those out All right, so that's pretty hacked out. It's so dark you can't really see it. But that lets me get up underneath there and uh, figure out where all the braces are and where to put the screws and stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a like. That, uh, that helps, I think. I don't completely understand the algorithms, but I think when it gets a lot of thumbs up, YouTube shows it to more people or something like that. But give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, yada, 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 whatever. I know this video probably wouldn't it was kind of boring but I felt like I needed to do an update I probably won't do another one until this thing is completely skinned and I'll maybe do one on painting the graphics or something but there just isn't much to record or watch or anything with these but uh, anyway we'll catch you all in a couple of weeks